All right, welcome back to the channel. It's Bumblewood here with Peanut. Uh, I was in the middle of making a, a video, uh, sort of like a beginner's guide to the dog, which we don't really need any more of, but I had a, a certain request for one, so I uh, was, was making that one. I decided, you know, um, there's a bunch I've learned about the dog that's kind of too much for uh, like a beginner, beginner's guide because it's not really out there. I've... Um, I learned a lot about the classic dogs, and now I'm kind of right into learning how uh, this bloodhound uh, functions in the game. So I'm sort of, uh, you know, scouring the internet and all the videos and the developer video and the forums, and then I'm taking that information and testing it out. So I've learned quite a bit that doesn't seem to be a whole lot. Well, there's, there's stuff out there, but it's kind of like all the same info. And not too much detail, but a lot of it is really hard to test. Uh, so... Uh, I decided to just make, try to do a fast video where I just kind of like unload some of the info I've learned. Um, and just to sort of get that out there to see if, you know, uh, you know, to see if I'm right or wrong or to see if it helps anybody sort of figure it out as well, uh, some of the stuff. But uh, uh, so I'm just going to start going through a few things. The first thing I want to get into is uh, there's, a, there's a lot of questions and stuff about... Um, like when the dog first came out, of course, is the hearts and the lightning bolts here, uh, all that sort of stuff, and and which trait to pick first, you know, this loving one or this uh, shortcut one. Uh, well, sort of to keep something in mind, uh, you know, if you're starting a new dog, is um, these hearts and lightning, they're, they're not really going to be a, a factor when the dog's at max level. Uh, the lightning bolts are the most important one. They're the ones that govern how quick the dog does its jobs and how well it does um, in accordance to the level. But at max level, it's three lightning bolts and max level on both. Uh, the dogs can be running at peak performance, and the hearts don't really play a factor into it. At least, you know, disclaimer here, I could be wrong about some of this, but it sure doesn't seem that way. The hearts seem like the only purpose of the bond is to recharge the lightning. But when the dog's at max level, you're not going to be using it. You're not going to be leveling it. You're not going to be using it that much. You're only going to be using it on those odd bad shots to track. You're just not going to need the dog tracking very much once it's max level. Uh, so it's sort of, um, you can run the dog perfectly fine at the first level heart, uh, or the first level heart there. Um, but I pretty much just kind of role play with the dog and pet it and things like that. But I wouldn't worry too much about it. And the reason I bring this up is the level 5 trait, the loving, and the level 20 sharp, uh, the one that increases its energy there, uh, they're primarily just for leveling the dog, uh, really. Because um, it just helps the hearts, uh, like how long the hearts stay, how quickly they, they generate up. And the, the lightning bolts here sharp is the same for the stamina. But they really, at max, like... Yeah, you sort of should build the dog for the max level time because for the life of lifespan of the dog, you know, throughout the game, way less than one percent of the dog's going to be done leveling. Like it's going to max out. So I sort of figured that um, you know, these two here, since they're mainly just focused on leveling, uh, aren't. You should probably avoid them. Uh, really, um, the exception is the shortcut one. Um, because sometimes you may not actually want shortcuts. So this first level five one, if you don't want shortcut, then you just take this one to make sure that you don't you don't have it. But most people should probably go for the shortcut here. Uh, and that's something I also wanted to explain is how the dog actually does the tracking, because uh, it gets uh, I know there's kind of a lot of info here uh, that can come come at you. And, and again, the disclaimer is I can't see the programming or anything like that. Um, it's pretty much what I've learned and observed and. Uh, and things like that so and a lot of it's hard to test but it's kind of important to understand how the dog tracks if you're interested in that sort of thing uh, like the programming of it because uh, it can kind of sort of ruin the immersion uh, <laughs> of the dog because uh, for one thing the dog you know he looks or she looks cute and and does all the great stuff but um, the dog can really only see two things it can see blood and it can see scat or the poop um, it can sort of see when animals are about to spook, and it can sort of see the hunter yourself, but we're pretty much just like a, a moving waypoint for it that it kind of clings to, and it's got all these different modes the dog can go in and out of. Uh, but to focus on uh, the tracking part of it, um, so most people know that when you issue the track command, uh, the starting, 
I think the developer said that it was a 60 meter start, but the codex is 50 meters. So it's like a 50 meter radius for the dog to find blood uh, in it. I think the trait, uh, this one here, the nosy one, uh, I think that boosts it to 60 meters. Uh, but it's it, that one's not too hard to test, but I'm actually probably... This is for a later discussion. I'm probably never gonna, really going to use the nosy one. Um, it turns out the sixth sense is kind of really underrated, sort of. Uh, so I'd almost always go with that. Uh, but yeah, basically uh, the dog sends out a little radar pulse to find the nearest blood scent, and then it goes to it. Uh, and then from there, uh, I'm pretty sure it doesn't keep doing the radar thing. I, since the dog doesn't seem to fail at this point, it just... Um, it will set its waypoint to the next youngest blood trail and just follow it straight. Um, that is unless you have uh, the shortcut. So the shortcut, I don't quite know how it works if it uses the same 50 meter radius thing, uh, but if there's uh, even younger blood track in that radius, it will go to it. Uh, but I need to do a lot more testing on the, on the shortcut sort of thing. But when it comes to the blood trail, uh, the shortcut doesn't really mean much at all. The only time the shortcut is of value um, is when uh, you run out of blood. And when you run out of blood, the dog actually switches from track blood mode, you'll notice down at the bottom, and it'll go to tracking prey. Uh, but how the game appears to do this, uh, because there's no more blood to, blood to track. See, before, the, the dog's just setting a waypoint at each blood track to the younger one uh, but there's no more blood anymore so i was wondering how the game was doing it but if you watch the dog again i'm, I'm not sure but it sure seems this way uh, the dog can't track the footprints it is tracking uh, the boop the scat uh, so it, they did it looks like they did program into the game uh, the the dog having the ability to trail the scat um, the scat on the ground so it doesn't see tracks at all if you watch it it should waypoint to um to the poop and to the next youngest one or the not the youngest one but they um, the next one anyways it's not as old uh and if you don't have the shortcut then you can see the dog literally do this set its waypoint to the next one and next one and next one uh and the reason why you probably want shortcut is that's kind of the time that you're going to be using the dog the most is those odd times where you make the bad shot where you run out of blood and you need help tracking down it. Um, and when that happens, usually you let the animal calm down a bit, but when you let the calm down a bit, it'll walk, you know, change directions and go backwards and all sorts of things. That's where shortcut can happen because while it's tracking the poop, it will, uh, it will do its little radar thing and find a newer one and it can save a whole bunch of time. So the shortcut is uh, a much more valuable one, uh, in, in my opinion, uh, to the tracking. And that's how I see how the tracking is actually done. Um, I sort of wish uh, they gave us a toggle um, so we could track any animal. But right now you can only toggle track blood, and there's no way to toggle the, that track poop state. If you could, then you could actually track any single animal uh, in it. But it actually looks like it's programmed into the game, but the only way to toggle it on um, is on top of the blood tracking so it's sort of like a a mode that's built on top of the blood tracking that the only way it can be toggled on is when the dog triggers it it's out of blood but i found it interesting that that's kind of in the game that the dog can track the track the poop now i don't know what she's doing there trying to go to the outhouse or anyways uh yeah so i found that interesting maybe some other people will find that interesting uh, but there's a, there's a kind of like a whole lot of, of things I've discovered. Um, the next one comes with that critical position uh, that I sort of want to spit out there because there's a whole lot of um, people confused about the critical position. Uh, the critical position, it, as far as I can tell, it is based off of one thing, this ability here, uh, the sixth sense, but it's a higher chance. So even if you don't have it, the dog... Uh, has the ability to do the critical position that warns you of the the animal that uh, is going to spook uh, but it is also critical position is also related to the level of the dog the companion level i believe um, so the higher the companion level is the farther it can detect and probably more reliable uh, when the animal is going to spook now the range i haven't been able to figure out but i know that it's like 40 meters out it's they're using that 50 meter mark for a lot of things with the dog so it's probably about that too i haven't got one to trigger that far out but i have got one 
um, when I've been testing, the dog will trigger critical position at um, uh, about 40 meters, I think I've, I've got it, but I think it gets better as companion level goes up. Uh, another part with the confusion with the um, with the critical position is when is how to trigger it. So as far as I've been able to tell, now I'm not 100% sure here, but the, the sit, stay, and the lay down, I don't think critical position can trigger when they're in when the dog's in that state. i got to test that a little bit more. Someone in Discord said it worked when the dog laid down. But I don't, I don't think so. I don't think it will. Um, or even the stay. If it does, it will be the stay command where it does, if, the, if it does in one of those states. But I sort of wish it did, uh, because the state that it does trigger is the idle state. And if you're uh, hiding in a bush or a tree or something like that, and you want to rely on uh, the critical position to, to tell you uh, when... Um, you know when the animal's going to spook the dog's an idle and it can push you out uh so it's kind of tricky i want to play with that a bit more i don't know for sure um but i do know this is much more certain for me um the heel command i've i've never seen critical position trip in the heel command it's like when when the dog's healing you it can't trip so it has to be an idle or it has to be in track blood or track prey for the critical position to work as far as, as I've been able to see. I do want it to work in the other modes, but I'm not, I don't think it does. I've never been able to get it to go off when the dog's healing. Which brings up another interesting thing. A lot of people look at the howl command uh, in the trait, and they say, oh, that's kind of a useless thing. But if you're someone that's wanting to use uh, the critical state, the howl is actually kind of important, because see how the dogs can heal? Um, the heal won't trigger it, so you actually need the dog in idle. But there's no way to toggle the dog into idle. Uh, but guess what? You go in here, you hit howl, dog howls, and she's an idle. Uh, so the howl can be used to trigger the uh, the idle state, which will also prompt the, um, the critical position. Uh, so there's a pro tip for you. A lot of people don't know that. I haven't seen that tip anywhere at all. But I did notice um, that you can use that uh, as well. Uh, so I think that's kind of a lot of information for now. I know this has just been me talking, but there's um, it's hard to get some of the info out. Uh, so I was hoping to get a few out there. Uh, for the traits, uh, again, at the start of the video, I was saying pretty much don't do these two, really, unless you want to or you know something I don't. Uh, but I would, you know, always do shortcut. Uh, the nosy just increases it to like 60 meters to 50 meters or so. Uh, if you can't get within 50 meters of the blood clue, then you're going a little wild. Uh, I... I the only reason that I hesitate on this one is since it changes the the radar of it, I don't know if it changes like the radar of the, the poop scanner it has or if it affects the the radar of the critical position or not. I don't I don't think so. I think it's just for the original blood thing. So I don't think I'll ever take that because I want the increased thing here. Um, this comes in handy a lot more than people may realize uh, uh, because when you're walking around in it's not really for preventing a spook, but it, it alerts you. If you're just like walking through here and within 40 meters away an animal stands up and alert, the dog will let you know even if you don't see it. So it's it's kind of like, I just find it way way more handy. So uh, typically a uh, shortcut and six cents is good. I do, um, I don't, it doesn't seem to have any trouble picking up scent from smaller blood clues. Maybe that'll speed it up. I, I don't have much issue there. I pretty much select how because it's fun and it lets me toggle into idle mode whenever I want. Uh, down here, this one I would not not do. Uh, this is really handy. The highlighting, the wounded animal you're tracking, that's a, that's a no-brainer. Now, I haven't unlocked these ones yet, uh, but this is pretty much preference stuff. I uh, uh, The only reason I think you'd pick the poop dar is if you don't want this one that makes your dog stay close to you. I haven't played around with it yet, but I mean, if the dog stays close to you, it may bump you around too much and might be annoying, so you might just pick that just not to have that. And then this, of course, is just, just preference. If you want it to zoom to the to the, the harvest or if you if you want an extra word off so that's kind of the rundown on that um, I think I've learned a bunch more but I think that covers most of it I wanted to get the video out there a bit I know it's just me talking but it's it's a lot of info I wanted to shoot out there so anyways yeah, questions or debate or anything like that throw them in the comments I'm in the discord and all that good stuff but anyways uh, hope it didn't bore you too much or at least hopefully it found a little bit interesting uh, but anyways uh, thanks for watching you made it this far and have a good one